What is going on, all you real ones? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we are out here at the the woods pond again, my buddy's pond. And yesterday, we did a little perch fishing. We did a little perch catching cook. That was a whole lot of fun. But while we were out here, I started seeing some crazy blow-ups. Like, I don't know what, I don't know if it was just perch eating or bass or what, but I started seeing some crazy, crazy freaking blow-ups. So today, instead of doing some perch fishing, we're gonna do a little bit of bass fishing and see what the biggest bass we can catch out of here is. I think so far in the five years that I've known my buddy, the biggest bass he's ever caught out of here was maybe two, three pounds and a whole bunch of dinks. Like every time we come out here, we always catch a whole bunch of like little tiny bass, little dinks. So today guys, I'm gonna just make it my mission to come out here and fish for about two, two and a half hours. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of limit because I got stuff to do. But we're gonna see what the biggest bass we can catch out here is gonna be. And I really don't think we're gonna catch much, so I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know that now. It's probably just gonna be some one and two pounders, but still, let's see how many we catch as well. You know, let's just make a little challenge and see how many we can catch out of this little pond. It's not big, it's a little tiny pond. It looks like it goes back there a little bit, but it really doesn't, and the cove's kind of dried up. So this is what we're working with right here. Just a little tiny cove. So we're gonna get in here. We're gonna do a little bit of bass fishing. I think the first thing I'm gonna throw on is a wacky rig because I really like the wacky rig. So we're gonna throw on a wacky rig. I got some Yamamoto Cinco's I'm gonna put on with them. We're just gonna see what we can catch, so guys. So if you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe to the Dark Relaxion channel. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. I know with y'all, anything is possible. And if you haven't already, please make sure to hit the notification bell so you can get notified when more awesome videos like this drops. And please leave any, if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, please leave them in the comments below. I love hearing from y'all guys. But anyway guys, enough with the chit chat. Let's get to fishing. Oh my gosh! Got it! Oh my gosh! All right, y'all. So first things first. Uh, a little bit about my setup here is uh, I'm just using a wacky worm right here on a weighted hook, about a one eighth ounce weighted hook, just like that in the middle. And then for my bait caster setup, I have the Lose Classic Pro reel. I have about 15 pound uh, Invisalign on it, and I'm fishing with the Mojo Bass 7 foot 1 medium heavy fast action. So that way when the wacky worm goes down, I can really feel like on that tip any type of bites that I get. So I really like this setup for really anything finesse type fishing, especially when it comes to the wacky worm because you can pretty much feel everything down there. So now that I've went over my combo with y'all, let's uh, get some, make a few casts over here in the shade where I think some bass are. I've seen a few jumping over here, seen a few wakes. So I think that's really where they are right now is they're staying out of that heat of the sun, kind of push back where this grass line is over here in the shade. I don't know if you can see behind me, but I'm talking about, yeah, right over there. That shade and that grass line is where we really, really want to be. So I'm gonna put y'all down right here. So y'all can see me, cause I'm gonna be down here in the shade, trying to stay out of that sun as much as possible. Already had a bite. Already. I don't know if that was a dink or what. Let's get back over there. Man, they're pulling on it. I don't know if that's perch or bass, but I don't know if you can see my line from here, but as soon as it hits the water, my line just straightens up as can be. Right there, y'all. Second or third cast, but finally got him. Right through the top of the snout, just where you want him so he can't come unhooked. Lost my worm, unfortunately, but that's okay. First little dink of the day. Really nice looking fish. Really nice. All right, buddy. See you later, say goodbye. Bye, everybody. Gone. Guys, that is the first fish down. That is a great sign. I was really worried that today being so hot as it is, the bite wouldn't really be where it needs to be, but I'm actually starting to believe that it might be a pretty good day today. So unfortunately, I lost my Senko there on that guy, but I got a few more in here. They seem to be really liking this color, that sprayed grass green color right there. Good stuff. Oh, 
back on to something popped it good. There's something over there. Everyone again. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh man. Do you take how? How? Dang. Let's try this again. There's a good one. Oh, that is a good one. That is a good bass. That is a good bass. That is a good bass. Oh my gosh, that is a really good bass. That is surprising. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, don't come off, don't come off, don't come off. No, no, no. Oh, keep tension, keep tension, oh my gosh. I cannot believe there's a bass in here this big, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. No, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. Oh my gosh. I'll see that. Got it. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. I can't believe this just happened. I can't believe this just freaking happened. Guys, I think I just broke 10 pounds in this pond. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look. Look how big this freaking bass is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is a monster. A freaking monster. Holy crap. I can't believe that just happened. I have never caught a fish this big out of here. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. Guys, one more time. Can you freaking believe it i can't that is insane never in my six plus years of fishing out of this pond ever caught anything this big oh my gosh and she is as close to me as i could possibly get i'm not pushing her out or anything this is pushing out <laughs> that is awesome oh my gosh all right here she is Big girl, massive, massive fish. But I've had her out of the water more than what she should have been. So, goodbye, big girl. Please, get bigger. You're amazing. Goodbye. Oh yeah, she was ready. She was ready. Oh my gosh, guys. Let's freaking go. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that freaking happened. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, unfortunately, I did not have a scale on me and I had that fish out of the water way more than what she should have been and I feel horrible about that, but I cannot believe that just freaking happened. <laughs> It is a little pond. This is a little pond. Y'all, look. This is not a big pond. It's not like they stock it or anything. This is just a pond out here behind their property. And, oh my gosh. We have never, ever caught anything like that out here. Never. We've only ever caught like one pounder, two pounders, dinks, and stuff like that. I can't believe that. I just can't believe it. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, but uh, here is what I was using exactly. My bait of choice was these Yamamoto's I just picked up today. I believe it's the sprayed grass one. It, it just looks green with some sparkles in them. Let y'all see that. See, just a basic green color. And then my uh, combo setup right here was the uh, Luz Classic, Classic Spool. 
And then, of course, I had the Mojo Bass Graphite Medium Heavy Fast Action right here. And then for that uh, shaky head, I was just using that little weighted jig, probably like a 1 8 ounce or something like that, not very much, but I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. I mean, I saw something blowing up over there in the grass, but it wasn't that big. It was not even close to being that big. It was just like maybe a two pounder just chasing some bait fish up. And whew, guys, I cannot believe that just happened. And I am very much surprised I landed that fish right there. I thought if I put any more tension on there, it was gonna snap. I think all I have on here is like a 12 pound monofilament. I cannot believe that just freaking happened, guys. Let's freaking go. If that doesn't make you wanna to subscribe to the Dark Relaxing channel, guys, I don't know what freaking will. Oh, I'm so pumped. Oh, I gotta, I gotta throw another one out there. I gotta throw another one. Cause if there's one, there's gotta be more. There's gotta be. And maybe today's just that day where the legends are coming out, the monsters, the mythological creatures. Whew, guys, oh, words cannot explain how much that just made my day. Oh my God. I wish I had a scale, I really, really do, but y'all saw her. She was eight plus pounds, easy, all day. But she just had such a belly on her. Even it being summer, it's post-spawn. You know, the water's freaking hot right now. You know, there's no reason a fish like that should be that fat unless she is just that freaking big and that old and that long. She was long. <sighs> Guys, I can't, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. That is insane. I can't stop shaking right now. I can't stop shaking. God. Let's go. Yes. Whoa. Oh, that just made my day, guys. That just made my freaking day. Yeah, this will work. Good a spot as any. Something just tapped it right there. Keep my, keep warm, keep warm, keep warm. Yes. Bass number three, y'all. Oh, and I got to keep my worm. Oh, man. There we go. Yes. Sweet victory. <laughs> yes, there we go. I mean, complete. Oh, daggum, got me. Complete dink, but a really pretty one. Maybe this is the baby of that big mama that we caught, but it's a nice looking little one. Really pale, really pale, but feisty. Look at those teeth. Rawr. All right, that's number three. And we still have our worm, y'all. Yes. All right, let's throw it back out there. Can we make it four? Can we make it four? I didn't even know that fish hit. I just saw my thing start going sideways. Oh, there's another one. Nope. Oh man, I think coming back here was a good idea. Got him. Oh, oh. Keep the worm, keep the worm, keep the worm, keep the worm. Yes. Yes. Number four, guys. And we keep the worm again. Yes. This one is even smaller than that last one. Man, he's pretty too. Literally silver looking. Very silver looking. Beautiful fish. All right, see you later, buddy. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right, y'all, so that is four fish so far. And of the two, we've got to keep our worm each time. Can we make it three fish and still keep the worm is the question. Can we do it? I'm gonna go ahead and say probably not. <laughs> if I'm just gonna be honest. Well, let's find out. Oh, a little bit of a backlash there, but I'm okay now. Oh, there was a bite. 
He still got it. <laughs> and no, oh, the worm came off. <sighs> right through the nose. He got a nose piercing. There we have it. That makes number five. Cute little guy. This one's actually got some lines on him. I don't know if y'all can see that right there. He's not pure silver, so I guess he's got some spotted bass in him. Beautiful bass, though. Beautiful. Like his mama. That must be one of his, her fish. All right, guys. I saw the worm fly off over here. Oh, come on. I saw it. I saw it fly off over here. But it probably sank. That was the last one too. No. <laughs> oh, but I guess that's as good a spot as any to end the day because it is getting absolutely toasty out here. Oh man. What an insane day. Oh god, look at that freaking funnel web spider hole. Heck no. Mm-mm. Ner her. I don't do spiders. Snakes, at least they're big enough where you can see. Spiders, ugh. All right, guys. That is it for today. I am absolutely drenched in sweat. My neck is killing me. It feels like someone's put Grisco on the back of my neck and it's just cooking out here. But we had an absolutely amazing day. Just, we came out here to catch, just to see how many dinks we could catch. And we ended up catching four dinks and absolute giant giant bass i can't believe that happened i still can't believe that freaking happened thank you thank you all so much for coming along with me today and being a part of that and to get to see that and experience it the same way i did i'm sure y'all can't believe that fish came out of a pond this small this small in the five years like i said in the five years i used to I've been coming out here i've never once caught a fish that freaking big let's go baby and if that doesn't make y'all want to subscribe to the dark relaxing channel i don't know what to tell you because that was absolutely insane one of the most insane catches of the year by far <laughs> but guys anyway besides everything again thank y'all i really do appreciate y'all coming with me thank you so much thank you for being subscribed thank you for watching the videos it really means a lot to me if you haven't already please make sure to like and subscribe to the dark collection channel road to 2k like i said earlier i know with y'all anything is possible if you haven't already please make sure that notification bell so you can get notified as soon as more awesome freaking videos like this drops y'all i mean come on Get it. But anyway, y'all keep it real. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.